Alright, time to tackle the next classic Doom map, E1M3, the Toxin Refinery. As seen in map 4 of the main campaign, that being Argent Facility. So, got my pistol, got my shotgun, and I am ready to kick some ass. Now, I don't have the rocket launcher or the chain gun with me here because those were secret weapons in the previous map, and, uh, secret weapons don't carry on over to the next classic Doom map. Which is a bit of a shame. Alright. So, there's so much to do here and so little time to do it, so... Let's get a move on. And also, let's go ahead and pull up that barrel right there. There we go! Yeah, I always struggle with trying to shoot that, uh, that barrel in that one room every time I play through this map, whether it be here in Doom 2016 or in the original classic map. And also, let's open this up and shoot that barrel there to blow up everyone and everything. He survived somehow, and now he's down. Alright, so, while I am going about here, I would like to take the time to talk about the latest Doom Eternal DLC, The Ancient Gods Part 2, which I uh, played through live on Twitch. Hello, Pinky, how are ya? I gotta be careful here, because uh, the weapon that I have here won't be uh, very effective in taking out the Pinky quickly, compared to many of the other weapons, and... Doom 2016. Anyway, got the yellow key there. And now to open up the first two secrets of this map. First, we gotta go this way and walk over a uh, trigger line to lower this lift. Now, in the original version of this map, this door would open once you approach it. But here in Doom 2016, I have to ride up this lift first and then the door opens. Not sure why that is, but hey, as long as we're able to get in, that's all that matters. Alright, let's lower the Soul Sphere and take it to boost my health and armor. And now for the second secret, which I can access, um, what? Why can't I? Okay, for some reason I had to jump over that instead of walking over it normally. Anyway, to open up the second secret, um, in the original version of this map, you could just lower that lift and this lift over here would go down as well, but for some reason, it did not go down when I exited that uh, secret right there. So the only way for me to open up that second lift here in Doom 2016's version of this map is to walk over that same trigger line again. And here it is. And this time this door opens when I approach it instead of when I ride up the lift. Anyway, here we got the rocket launcher again. And... Uh, there is nothing inside that little crevice right there. I checked during my practice run. There's no Easter egg or anything like that. But over here is a backpack and a switch. And there's nothing in there either. But there is something in here. It's the next secret. And we got the chain gun back. Now, something really weird about this map. Um, I use my mouse wheel to scroll through the weapons that I have. So here's the weapon order that I have for this map. I have the pistol, then the shotgun next then the rocket launcher, then the chain gun. However, if you noticed in the previous classic map, uh, the weapon orders were pistol, shotgun, chain gun, rocket launcher. Yeah, these two weapons are reversed in this map for some reason. I guess the order of the weapon depends on which order you first pick them up. I don't know, it, it, it seems like, it seems like that. It seems that way. Anyway, that's enough of that. But well, anyway, I want to get back to talking about uh, The Ancient Gods Part 2. Oh yeah, The Ancient Gods Part 2, it's a much better DLC uh, the than The Ancient Gods Part 1, by far. And let's drop right down here and flip the switch to raid this central bit of the walkway. And don't, fall, don't jump off the side or you won't get back up. Yeah, I actually jumped off the side during my practice run to see if I could actually get myself back up. 
But strangely enough, even with the double jump, I could not get back up. Yeah, the walls were just a bit too high for me to climb back out. Anyway. So yeah, what I really like about the Entry God Part 2 is that the combat was greatly reduced uh, compared to the combat in the Entry God Part 1. And that was really refreshing because uh, in Part 1, the combat was just so overwhelmingly difficult. However, it wasn't all easy peasy in Part 2 because uh, the final boss battle it was so goddamn infuriating. Yeah, I was like really screaming my head off during that final battle. And I was just like, okay, you know what? Fuck this DLC. It wasn't worth it wasn't worth getting. Even though I uh, got the DLC as the Christmas gift from Wikidoo. Yes. Yes. Same to you. Oh, wait, you're gonna be friendly now? I can be friendly too. <laughs> this brings me back to the, to, the, to the good old days when I was being friendly in TF2 when I was uh, moderating the Dakota servers. Okay, you're just wasting my time. Go down and die. Anyway. So yeah, I said that uh, the Ancient Gods Part 2 wasn't worth uh, the price of uh, purchase. That, uh, that but blah, 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 yeah. That is until I saw what I got at the end when I finished the DLC. Anyway, here's the room with the secret exit. However, there is no secret exit. Yeah, there's nothing there. And up this lift is the next secret, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here either. Apart from that imp that I blew up. Yep, nothing at all, so... Let's just drop right down and head on over to the blue door. So yeah, upon completing the Ancient Gods Part 2, I earned myself the gold BFG skin. Yeah, you heard right. I ended up getting a gold BFG. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you know, I am an absolute sucker for gold weapons. And upon seeing that, upon seeing the gold BFG, I was like, Okay game, you are officially forgiven. And not only that, but shortly after I finished up the DLC, um... I saw this post on Reddit that apparently you could get all the other weapons in the game painted gold as well if you were to play through the DLC on Nightmare difficulty. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Ultra Nightmare, it has to at least be Normal Nightmare difficulty. And upon seeing that, I went ahead and played through the DLC again on Nightmare difficulty. And, uh, it was a bit of a challenge, not gonna lie, but I managed to, I managed to succeed. Anyway, here's the exit right here, the normal exit, but I'm not going to flip it yet because there is one more room to go to, and it's the room that requires the yellow key. So yeah, I ended up getting the gold heavy cannon, the gold plasma rifle, the gold rocket launcher, the gold super shotgun, the gold ballista, the gold chain gun, and all that's left for me to get is the gold combat shotgun. Which I can get from completing the challenges for the Super Goreneth Master Level. And I've completed three of the challenges so far, so I'm making progress on that. And as far as I'm aware of, there's no way to get a gold Unmaker skin. Yeah, I thought maybe that if you were to beat the Ancient God Part 2 on Ultra Nightmare, you would get a gold Unmaker skin. But I haven't seen anything online that said you could get the gold Unmaker skin in, in any way, which is kind of a shame. Anyway, that's all there is for this map here. Let's exit. And there we go. That was the Toxin Refinery. Got 100% of everything, hopefully. And now, to end off this video, I have something really cool I would like to show you. 
just a couple days ago, I got something in the mail that I ordered a few months ago off the Bethesda website. It is a limited edition bundle that features three items. Item number one is a small blue Doom floppy disk pin. Item number two, a little roll-up poster of the classic Doom um, cover art. And item number three, and the main item of the bundle, a wearable classic Doom Marine helmet. Yep, I got myself a classic Doom helmet. Would you like to see me with the helmet on? Well, here you go. That's me with the helmet on, along with the Doom Eternal shirt, ready to rip and tear. And I think I'll end off the video with that image right there. So next time, we shall tackle the next classic Doom map, E1M4, Command Control. And I hope to see you guys there next time. Sayonara, everyone.